This video is about the statistics of patent infringement in Europe. I have written a full article in the magazine The Patent Lawyer, which I will link to below this video in the description, if you want to get the full scope of it, but I'll give you a brief summary in this video. I have co-authored this article with Dr. Thomas Kühn, who is the presiding judge at the Higher Regional Court in Düsseldorf, which is the most important court for patent infringement at this level in Germany. And just as a coincidence, our office is only about 25 miles away from Düsseldorf, so we are pretty close to where the center of patent infringement is in Europe. And just to give you some uh, first rough numbers, uh, every year we have around 2,000 patent infringement cases in Europe and 1,200 of these cases are handled by German courts. Just for comparison, in Great Britain there are about 50 patent infringement cases every year and in France, that's the second highest number for patent infringement cases, it's a little less than 300 cases per year. What makes Germany so interesting for plaintiffs, for patent owners to file their complaints against their competitors? First of all, Germany is very quick. The first instance ruling will come around one year after the filing the complaint and the second instance at the higher regional court will be issued about one year later, so about two years for the first two instances. And just for the few cases where the parties want to have the third instance, the Federal Court of Justice in Karlsruhe, that will take maybe another three or four years, so the total will be five to six years for all three instances that are possible, which is very quick in comparison with other European countries. Another reason is the comparatively low cost for patent infringement in Germany. In Germany, the losing party has to pay the, has to reimburse the costs of the winning party and the costs are kept at a certain level by law and so the total cost risk for a typical patent infringement case in the first instance can be something between let's say 50,000 to 100,000 euros for lawyers of both sides and the court fees. So that uh, these costs are quite low compared to let's say France or Great Britain. And the second instance is not a lot more expensive and the third instance is a little more expensive but not by, uh, by far. So if you want to calculate the cost risk for um, if you lose all three instances, then it's probably something between 300 and 350,000 euros. As for the first instance, there are a couple of regional courts in Germany that are popular with plaintiffs, with the patent owners. The most popular court is Düsseldorf, which handles around 500 to 600 cases every year. The second most popular court is Mannheim, which handles around 265 cases every year. The court of Hamburg handles around 180 cases every year. And Munich handles around 150 cases every year. Other important courts are Nuremberg, Berlin or Frankfurt. These numbers are dated 2011. I know they are a little dated, but there are no numbers that are younger that I'm aware of, so this is the best we can get. One interesting fact about the German litigation system for patents is the bifurcated system. So patentability is decided by the Federal Patent Court in a parallel nullity action proceedings and the infringement is decided by the civil courts, let's say for example the lower regional court in Düsseldorf. The nullity action at the Federal Patent Court might take, let's say, three years for the first instance, that's not unusual, and that means that the first two instances of the um, infringement action can already be done and over with um, and later on the patent can be found invalid. That is a um, not very satisfying result for um, an infringer and then only in the third instance and in the second instance of the um, nullity action, the two different forks of, the, of this case, let's say the, the patentability fork and the infringement fork, will meet at the Federal Court of Justice in Karlsruhe and they will try to decide on both cases uh, in a similar time frame. So 
that's a little difficult in Germany and it might be this problem might be solved at the Unified Patent Court, which in turn will be a lot more expensive than the German infringement system. So if you have patent infringement, you might want to choose the German courts because they are very quick and they are not very expensive. The system in Germany is quite friendly for plaintiffs because the patentability is issued by a different court and the infringement courts, they suspend proceedings in less than 10% of all cases. So you have a very good chance that you get an infringement, a positive ruling for infringement and you can maybe already enforce claims for information, for example, um, which will make your position quite strong. I hope I was able to explain a little bit about patent infringement in Germany and give you some statistics. If you are new to my channel and want to learn more about patents, trademarks and designs, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm answering questions and comments below this video in the comments. And most importantly, protect your intellectual property and go make it count.